Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Quantum Leap Futures Morning Leap Session for Wednesday, January the 3rd, 2018. My name is Doug McKay. I'm the founder of Quantum Leap Futures. Uh, I have been away uh, on holiday since uh, before Christmas. Uh, I am back. We will resume our normal pre-market uh, uh, today and tomorrow. Uh, I will only be trading for the morning this morning, and then I've got uh, some obligations I got to take care of, but uh, hopefully starting tomorrow, we go back to our regular, uh, you know, trading schedule. Um, you know, this is a subscription room. If you're interested in checking out, send me an email at quantumleapfutures at gmail.com. There's no website. So there's no blog. We do everything here in the uh, go to live in the pre-market session. And then we do live trading analysis during the course of the trading day. Please read through the disclaimer. Nobody at Quantum Leap is a certified trading advisor. We are retail traders operating within a self-organized learning environment. Uh, past performance is not indicative of future results. Any trades that you see in Quantum Leap are for education purposes only. Please trade your own due diligence, your own trade plan, and your own risk metrics. So taking a look at yesterday, yesterday being the uh, first day of the year, of course, our RTH uh, open of the year uh, was at 26.87, but the actual open of the year was 26.75 and a quarter, and that was a gap up from the close on Friday um, uh, at 26.68.25. So the 2017 close, 26.68.25, year open 26.75 and a quarter. If you watch the uh, RTH only 2687, but I always go with what the, what the actual full session is. That means our month open and our week open 2675 and a quarter. Um, yesterday we had uh, uh, 14 and a quarter points of range. Uh, we basically uh, filled in the low part of the distribution above the value area and uh, basically went sideways, accepting value higher up here at the 26.90.50 and uh, went up, hit the 96 and uh, closed at, uh, at uh, 92, oh, where's my close? Uh, 93. And uh, in the session overnight, very important, we held that value above the uh, VPOC that, uh, uh, that we created higher our VPOC from yesterday, 26.90.50, and uh, we've since gone up and put in a new all-time high, 26.98.75. So we have an unequalized high between the uh, the 26.98.75 that we put in Globex and uh, the uh, 26.98 that we put in last Friday. Um, we've got a P-shaped profile with the LVN. Uh, here at the 95.75, 95.50 area, uh, a little bit of a weak local low there, uh, but the most important thing is that uh, our VPOC is shifting higher up to 97.50, and we've got an unequalized high. So my main target today is going to be that 98.75, whether we do it on hypo 1 or hypo 2. Uh, will be interesting, but I want to make something very clear. Right now, we've created this <clears throat> range, uh, and it being a new year, we're likely to test the value area high and the value area low on either side more than one time. And you can see that uh, our low from yesterday was 26.8175. Which is basically two ticks off of the value area uh, that we're creating inside of this uh, two weeks of balance that we have that's centered around the microcomposite VPOC at uh, 26.86.75. <coughs> the value area high is at 94.50. And if you take a look at, we had this, uh, the gap up day when we first got up here. You can see that for the first four days, you know, we were trying to hold value at the uh, 
95 area, 94.75. So that's going to become our over underline today. If we can hold above that, looking for them to push through. If we get below it, I'm looking for it to uh, take a trip back down into the 86.75 and possibly lower. These are going to be, if we do not take out the 98.75, any move down could lead us uh, to buying opportunities for a trip through to new all-time highs in the chest of the 2700. Of course, caveat always is is news. Uh, we do have some uh, some political news. Uh, you know, they're talking about North Korea firing another missile. Um, we got all kinds of uh, of headline news, but we also have a pretty uh, uh, big day of news as well in terms of uh, scheduled economic news. We've got Red Book coming out uh, in just a minute. Uh, we've got uh, ISM New York business conditions in 50 minutes. And then 10 o'clock will be the big one, ISM manufacturing PMI. Uh, and then 2 o'clock, we've got the FOMC meetings, uh, uh, the minutes coming out for that. So, you know, uh, fairly decent, uh, you know, news today. Just taking a look at the calendar this week. Tomorrow, uh, Thursday, we've got uh, uh, initial uh, jobless claims. We've got uh, Canadian IPPI, RMPI, uh, Bloomberg Consumer Confidence, uh, and then we've got uh, crude oil inventories. Uh, at uh, 11 o'clock, we've got uh, Bullard speaking uh, at uh, 12:30, and that's about it. And then on Friday, we've got non-farm payroll uh, on Friday. So an unemployment rate uh, in Canada and U.S. And durable goods, ISM non-manufacturing. So lots of news coming out in the next uh, three days with lots of Fed members speaking and headline news uh, to uh, to also throw us some uh, some curveballs. Uh, taking a look at the macro to micro, I always like to start my day looking at uh, simple candlestick chart. I, this is where I do my pattern recognition, candlestick recognition, and I look at where we are in the different time frames in terms of, uh, you know, do we have good slope and separation? My two main uh, moving averages are the 9 EMA and the 20 SMA. Uh, I've got a couple new ones that I'm just watching. These are Pearson's PPTs. Um, and uh, we're, you know, still got good slope, good separation. We're still in the upper band of the upward sloping uh, pitchfork and coming up to that, uh, you know, uh, 2700 level. I am expecting 2700 to get breached uh, uh, at some point in time this week. Whether it holds or not is going to be uh, a question. But this market is still very bullish at the moment, even though we took that big dive uh, on the close, uh, you know, last Friday. Going to the weekly, same story, good slope, good separation. Trend is very much intact. On the daily, we had that big down day uh, at the, to close the year off. Uh, you know, didn't uh, make it to uh, to the 2700, uh, but then right on the open, you know, we took it all back. We gapped up from the close, so we have a gap down here, down to the 2668.25. Uh, so far, our low for the year is 26.75 and a quarter. So this gap will get repaired at some point in time. But we're above the nine and the 20 with good slope, good separation, and trading, uh, you know, just a couple points off of the all-time high that was put in overnight. Going to the uh, intraday, you can see that we do have a technical gap, uh, but we are very much in this trend to the upside and uh, still looking very strong. Going to the 30 minute, you can see we have, uh, you know, put in the new all time high and we're getting a bit of a retrace and we're at a point right now where the nine and the 20 are, uh, are 
crossing and we are trying to hold above it, but we have had a couple of closes before. So seeing a little bit of weakness uh, this morning, but not a terrible amount as we go down to the uh, to the five minute. You can see that we're below the 20, but we're, I'm sorry, we're above the 20, but, but below the nine. We're in this consolidation phase and we do have a naked cross up here at the 97.75, um, uh, which we, I'm sorry, we took it out. We took it out right here. Uh, so, you know, you know, right now, there's not a lot of information to tell us how we're going to come into this open. Um, so, again, taking a look at the structure, uh, you know, this could be a lot of back and forth trading in this area if we do not hold above the 94.75. <coughs> Right now, our VPOC is uh, for the Globex at 97.50. It could shift um, as uh, as we move closer to the RTH. Uh, it could shift down here to the 96.75. Uh, we do have an LVN right here at the uh, 95 and a quarter, uh, and that's going to be my over underline uh, because it's also right there at the. Uh, at the value area high from yesterday, and of course the most important, the, the micro composite value area. So I'm going to use 9450 uh, up to actually don't want that. I want uh, trade area. I'm going to be using 9450 up to 95 uh, and down to 94, and this is going to be my over underline. Below it, I expect to come down, take out the uh, 93 naked close, and come down to test the uh, the 9050 VPOC. Uh, value area is uh, a valid value area down here at 88, and then we uh, actually have this uh, this LVN from yesterday down here at the uh, the 87, which is again right at the microcomposite VPOC. This is going to be our key line in the sand. Below it, <clears throat> I'm expecting a move down to that 81 again, and possibly even lower to close the gap. My typing is uh, going to be slow this morning. I crushed my hand the other day. Um, <coughs> And then below the uh, the 87, uh, I'll be targeting the uh, the value area low down here at the 81.50 and the uh, yesterday low down here. Our 20 period daily ATR is running at 16.83, so at 26.98.75, uh, our downside daily ATR target is down at 82. So one tick below uh, that uh, microcomposite value. And then our daily upside ATR target, <clears throat> 26.92 and a quarter, the low overnight uh, and a range being 16.83. Our upside daily uh, ATR is at 27.09. We still have, uh, you know, uh, some measured move targets above at the 08 and a quarter and the 10 and 1075. Um, so they're still valid in play. You know, we're currently trading just above the uh, the. Oh, I guess put in our overnight high and overnight low. Oh, that's the wrong. Overnight high. Overnight low, 92 and a quarter. So we're trading just above. We're you know we're going to be opening just outside a range or just inside a range or inside a value. We still have some time. Uh, we still got uh, 25 minutes thereabouts. Uh, but I'm looking for an open auction just out of range. 
and I'm looking for a responsive selling down towards the 94.50. This would be the first spot that I'd expect a possible, uh, you know, rotation. Uh, but eventually I'm looking for that overnight low to get taken out and move down into this 90 to 89 area on hypo one and then finding our buyers and rotating us up and taking us into the 2700s. How high we go, don't know. Uh, but once we get into the 2700s, then we got to be thinking about the rule of 10 and the possibility that within, uh, you know, a number of sessions that we're going to go and hit that 2710 uh, target for the rule of 10. So that's hypo one. Hypo two is an open auction, outer range, a push up into the 2700s and then fail to hold the 2700s and start working our way back down into the range, fight the range, and then push down, take out the naked VPOC, and then come back and close somewhere in around the 94.50, 94.75. I'm gonna be watching for this micro composite to shift back up for clues that we're gonna continue the auction higher into those 2700s. Uh, of course, being the trend being so strong, um, you know, I still have to be thinking in terms of uh, expansion. So Hypo 3 is a open test drive, uh, a touch into the prior day range and somewhere between 95 and 9450. Uh, the buyers take control on an open test drive and take us up into the 2700s, pushing us up into the 2710, chopping around there and then drifting back down and closing somewhere around the 2700 if not just below it. That is hypo three. Hypo four is a uh, failure day, a uh, open auction, just in range or just out of range, push up, take out the all-time high, test into the 2700, then get met with uh, strong responsive selling, rotating us all the way down into the 90, 89 area, chopping here and then failing and pushing down and coming all the way down through this value one more time and then pushing down to close the gap uh, that we had uh, from the uh, 2017 close and a push into the lower 76s, possibly even into the uh, 68 uh, and a quarter. Uh, so, you know, those are my hypos. Uh, taking a quick look at gold. Uh, gold did exactly what we anticipated it to do. What a run they had once they got it going. Once we came up and got above the 1280, there was no looking back. Look at there is not a red day, okay, on this for, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six days just straight up. This is a big run here, so we're likely to stall out and chop up here between the 1300 and 1320 and just go sideways uh, and uh, and fill in this distribution zone right here. Um, still have the uh, the next major target above at 3280. Uh, um, still think that we'll come up there and test it, but we have extended. This is one of the largest uh, fractal rotations that uh, we had all year. Uh, that's a you know if you look back, uh, there's very few. There's a 6980. Just, uh, that was just a huge, huge run. Uh, one of the biggest, uh, biggest. there's one right there on the downside of uh, 97. I bet you that's back in November uh, during the election. So uh, gold's gonna be uh, stalling here and, uh, and creating a base up here somewhere. Uh, if we don't hold the 13, 12, 90, then look for them to rotate it down to test the, uh, the 130860. Uh, if we can get above the 2310, you know, we'll probably push to the 27. But for the most part, we're likely just to chop around this 15 to 17 area today and uh, and just go sideways after uh, a really nice run yesterday. We had a pretty decent range uh, yesterday uh, on gold again. Anyway, that's going to complete our pre-market session. As always, trade well, trade safe, and we'll catch you on the flip side.